Hi. Hi, good morning. Uh, so here is my little boy. Anish. Say hi. Hi, Bola uh, So I thought uh, I, if I share some views, uh, share some ideas how to start or how to become fluent in English. Uh, so the basic question is how much knowledge we must gather before starting before starting this conversation or before starting speaking somewhere. Uh, yeah, some people say that we need to know the basics, lots of basics, tenses, voice, mood, narrations, only after then we can actually uh, start speaking correctly. But there are ways, there are ways and there are different stages. There are different stages and there are ways, obviously. Even you know a single structure like I love you, I like you, with that structure you can create thousands of sentences, thousands of sentences by your own. So in case of speaking, the most, the most problem the most important problem faced by different speakers is that they don't find relevant words or any word when they try to communicate with someone. So for getting fluency you need to create, you need to create sentences, you need to join sentences one after another by spontaneously, by your own. So let me tell you, to solve this problem, you can start from anywhere. Even with a single structure, my name is such and such. With this simple structure, you can actually create lots of sentences. My country name is India. My friend is... Uh, here is my little boy <laughs> showing his tongue. I think he is also trying to communicate with you. Uh, whatsoever, he is one, uh, one year and uh, two months old. But even he can communicate with me and others uh, just by saying single words. Uh, suppose he, uh, wants, he wants to uh, eat, then he says bhat khai. So he has to know what is it mean, what it, what the word it means and what the word it's, it is. A, it's not a thing, it is an action. So we cannot see what actually it means. It's not. And bhat, we can obviously see what is bhat, rice. But we cannot, we cannot make him realize what is khai. But he knows. Somehow he knows that khai means to eat something. So he has learned this just in the age of one year. We know all the things. We just need to convert them in English. We know in our mother tongue, we just need to convert them in another language and another uh, another way. We need not to learn the words bhat or khawa, but we need to just translate them. Not in that literary means translate, just to convert them, convert our thoughts. Okay, so actually my point is that you can start from any any level. You can start from the level zero. Just whatever comes in your mind, you can start speaking them, okay? So that is the idea and there are different stages. When you can create sentences, whether it's relevant or not, uh, whether they are correct or not, if you can add one word after word, then you have crossed the halfway, okay? So it is the main point, it is the main point of fluency that you can actually imagine word after word and can build sentences, meaningful sentences, maybe correct or uh, wrong, that doesn't, it doesn't matter. And after that, you need to upgrade yourself. Suppose uh, if you, uh, if you are uh, saying something in active or whether in passive, uh, so you need to actually then apply those knowledges. So in that case, you can start now and gradually you can learn new rules and utilize them in in your conversation so there is no point where you can actually start you can start from any point that is my point thank you